Well, happy Thanksgiving from me and Bo. Bo, say happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. It is a beautiful day. I don't know about you guys, but we're getting the stuffing ready. This is from Grandma Helen's recipe on Amy's mom's side. We've got, oh baby, a little Trader Joe's brine turkey. Oh baby, this is such good stuff this morning. Amy's cinnamon rolls, her egg casserole is killer. That is how we started our Thanksgiving. And now I come outside because, I mean, it's a gorgeous day. My neighbors are the best, RJ, Sari, Max and Dylan. Look at that incredible fire pit they just put in. He's got a smoker. That turkey's in the smoker right now. Oh, life is good. I don't know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. It's been different, hasn't it? I mean, this year has been a lot. But God is still with us, and we have much to be thankful for. So I just want to let you know how thankful I am for you. And when you enjoy this meal, wherever you are, if it's Happy Zooms giving, taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34 reminds us. And when you are eating that meal, know that the supper of the gospel is calling us to the creator, meaning all things created point to the creator. That's what I love about God's creation. So much of it is edible. Oh man, and the narrative of redemption starts in the garden where good food is grown. And in Revelation is the marriage supper. And so when you're eating this meal, taste and see that the Lord is good. And just know that every meal is a preparation, a prediction, a picture of where we are called to go and be fully in the presence of God. So when you're eating this meal and you will be stuffed, stuffing one starch madness, right? Beat out mashed potatoes on the sides giving bracket madness. I pray that you do get stuffed and know that it is the body of Christ, the bread and the wine. When you have your bread and wine today or whatever you're having, know that it is a never ending welcome to the table because the table is the supper that we're all yearning for. We are all yearning and hoping for that welcome invitation because everybody's welcome to the table. Nobody's perfect, but in Christ, everyone has love this is good news so i pray this thanksgiving you feel blessed i'm thankful for you thanks for supporting the mission and ministry of lpc where we are for our neighbors we are for the next generation and we are for those in need so that all may flourish in kansas city and beyond happy thanksgiving